On today's show, we are going to learn more about a root vegetable that is very common in almost every dinner plate of every household in the country or the world at large. Carrot. Its scientific name, Daucas carota, and is often claimed to be the perfect health food. It is crunchy, tasty, and highly nutritious. Carrots are particularly a good source of beta carotene, fiber, vitamin K1, potassium, and antioxidants. They also have a number of health benefits. They are a weight loss friendly food and have been linked to lower cholesterol levels and improve eye health. What's more, their carotene antioxidants have been linked to a reduced risk of cancer. Carrots are found in many colors including yellow, orange, red and purple. Orange carrots get their bright color from the beta carotene, an antioxidant that your body converts into vitamin A. Carrots Carrot farming has emerged as one of the likely valued and lucrative economic activities in Kenya as the country, under the Ministry of Agriculture, continues to advocate for agribusiness. As a result, most small-scale farmers are opting for carrot farming in Kenya due to the high yields from even a small piece of land. With a shorter maturity period compared to other crops like maize and coffee, carrots also require minimum attention and are easy to manage. Carrots in Kenya are mainly grown for the local market where they are consumed when fresh or processed while others are packed and exported to foreign markets. The leading determinants of carrot planting in Kenya are soil type and climate. Fortunately, carrots do well in most soils and weather, except clay or stony soils and areas that are too hot. Notably, carrots grow well in places where temperatures range from 15 to 200 degrees Celsius and where the soils are fertile and well drained. Carrots, ni mume ambaye ni rahisi sana kukuza kwa sababu carrot ni kutengeneza bed yako nzuri kwa shamba. Hii haitolewi ukapada mahali kuingine. Mahali utapada ndio itakulia hapo. Itakomea hapo. Kwa hivyo ukitayarisha bed ya kupada carrot lazima ushibe deep ndani sana. Kwa sababu carrot ni mzizi ambayo ina inaingia kwa kwa mchanga. Kwa hivyo mchanga mahali unapanda lazima iwe deep, yani iwe imeingia ndani ile kuwa soft. Iwe imeingia ndani ili huyu mmea uweze ku kuingia ndani. Penetrate deep ili usitoe karati kidogo na usitoe karati ambaye ime imekuwa kidogo iko na na hii tunaita foki. Kwa hivyo lazima uh, ukipada karati uwe umechimba vizuri. Ya pili karati haipedi borea. Haiweki borea. Sababu ukiweka borea ya ngombe ama ya kuku ama ya bu, ya kondoo ina, inakaa namna hii. Tunafa, tunasema ina, inafanya foki. Sasa hii ukipeleka soko, hii haita nunuliwa, itaacho na, na wanunuzi hapo. Karati natakikana iwe straight kama hii. Iwe moja, straight. Na iwe, iwe kubwa, ama iwe nyebaba, lakini straight. Kwa hivyo, kwa kukuza karati, lazima mkulima achunge hii. Lazima pade mahali kuna borea nyingi. Kama hii sasa, 
watu na inaonekana mahali tulipada hii karat kulikuwa na borea nyingi ambayo haikuwa ime imetumika kwa muda mrefu kwa hivyo ukijua ya kwamba shaba yako unaweka borea ya kutosha Uta, uta, utapada karat kama umepanda ume, ume, ume na borea alafu umeacha kupanda na borea ukaacha kwa muda mfupi ili isiwe isifoko iwe street other farmers prefer to make an unraised carrot beds while making half inch deep furrows to contain the seeds still other farmers choose to plant carrots through a broadcast approach where the carrot seeds are broadcasted on the farm watered and left to germinate without the farmer covering them with soil of the three approaches, the first and second options are preferable since they allow the farmer to cover his carrot seeds with at least 0.5 cm of soil. Additionally, planting in furrows allows the farmer to thin and weed his crop well. Common varieties in Kenya include but not limited to chantney, nantes and oxheart. Nantes variety is a choice for most farmers due to a nice deep orange color as well as a sweet taste. The carrots are smooth and long. It also has a longer shelf life and can be grown in all seasons. Nantes kila kampuni iko na Nantes yake. Kuna moja tunaita Nantes Ari. Kuna Nantes original, kuna Nantes what mtu hayapaji da ingine. Kwa hiyo hiyo carrot ni ni Nantes. <coughs> na hiyo unanunua kwa kampuni kila kampuni iko na carrot iko na carrot yake. Kwa hivyo carrot ni moja Nantes. E, kuna carrot zingine kama baby carrot ambazo ni kadogo, kebaba. Lakini hiyo sana sana Kenya hakuna kwa sababu watu hawajaijua sana. Lakini kuna baby carrot. Wale watu wanajua umuhimu wa carrot wanajua. Kwa kuna kuna special market za za baby carrot. Kuna hoteli zinakula baby carrot. Hiyo inachemchwa pamoja na boga hata ikatikati unakula kakiwa hivyo kwa sababu ni ka baby carrot kana ka kadogo si kama hii kwa hivyo carrot ni kitu muhimu ukichatengeneza bed unakata mtalo mitalo unaachana mtalo moja kwa ingine kama 20 cm to 15 to 20 cm alafu kwa hiyo mtalo ukati ati mtalo deep sana ka mtalo tu kidogo alafu unakuja unaweka begu zako kwa hiyo mtaro. Ukishaweka unafunika kidogo kwa sababu begu ya karati ni kidogo sana. Unafunika kidogo alafu unapea maji. Ukichapea maji sasa hiyo karati itamea. Ikichamea unaendelea kulimia na kuweka fertilizer kidogo kwa sababu karati inapenda fertilizer. So unaweka fertilizer na kama unalipa unalima organic utaweka fertilizer, utatafuta organic fertilizer ambayo utaweka ambaye haina manyua. Kwa hivyo ukichaweka manyua karati ina, limesema inakaa hivi. Kwa hivyo unatafuta zile organic fertilizers in the market ambazo zinakubalika kulima organic. Unaweka na karati yako within 4 months imekoma. Sasa unaweza kuvuna na kuuza. Carrots take about 4 months or 110 days to mature and be ready for carrot farming market in Kenya. You can check this by removing some soil and seeing if the carrot root has grown to the expected diameter of about 1 inch. You can also pull out some carrots to determine whether they are mature based on market demands. Kama hapa kwetu, hapa waruhi, hii karati unaona, ikicha koma. Mkebe mke, huwa nauza na mkebe. Mkebe moja ya kilo 2 ile kasuku, watu wanaita kasuku. Nauza mia. Na kuna wakati inafika tunauza mia moja hamsini. Kuna wakati iko mingi sana tunauza eh, 50 hiyo kasuku. Haiwezi toka chini ya 50 shilingi hamsini. Kwa hivyo karoti ukichapa panda. Na karoti mimi naona ukishapa panda vizuri kwa ika moja unaweza vuna hata 25000 kilos ama zaidi. Ukipiga na, na 50 shillings unakuta huko na karibu 1750. Carrot kilo carrot kimoja. Kwa hivyo carrot ni mmea ambaye ni muhimu sana. Kwa sababu carrot iko na matumizi mingi. Moja kwa kila juice ukiweka carrot, carrot inaongeza sukari. Kwa hivyo inaongeza taste ya, ya juice. Kwa kila boga lazima tukule na na carrot. Kwa kila siu lazima tuweke carrot. Kwa hivyo uki, ukiangalia zile family ziko Kenya na kila family inakula carrot. So ina, ni mumea ambaye ni muhimu sana kwetu kama nchi.
you also have to thin them within the first two weeks of germination as you aim at leaving between 2 and 4 centimeters between the seedlings. This spacing encourages the growth of strong and healthy roots. Irrigate the carrots before thinning them to make the pulling seamless and harmless to the remaining carrots. You can repeat this process of thinning your carrots after every three weeks when there is need while still maximizing your small scale carrot farming business. Tuseme carrots vile inakaribiana dia itakuwa nye baba. Vile imeashana kidogo dia itakuwa kubwa. Kwa hivyo tunasema at least 5 cm dio laisi dio, dio spacing mzuri kutoka karati moja mpaka ingine. So, kwa hivyo kujua imekoma lazima uwe una unaagalia. Kwa sababu unaweza ngoa karati unaona mahali imefika kulingana na size. Lakini miezi tatu mpaka miezi ine karati imekoma. So utakuwa una, una time kuna kule kuagalia na kuna kule kujua ya kwamba miezi tatu ama ine karati yako imekoma. Spray program ya carrot ni kwamba wakati utakuwa unaangalia kwa sababu spray ni hiyo ya kukontrol powder mildew ni kuangalia kama iko na kitu ya hoiti kwa kwa majani. Kama haina hakuna haja ya kupiga dawa. Kwa sababu wakulima wengi wanaenda hasara kupiga dawa tu kwa sababu wameabiwa wapi. Lazima mtu anafanya ile tunaita scouting. Ukiscout uone matawi inaanza kutani white. Unakuja na dawa una spray unanunua dawa kutoka kwa agrovet unakuja una spray lakini kama haina unaachana naye kwa sababu mkulima lazima ajue anataka faida kwa hivyo faida yake itakuwa kubwa kulingana na vile atatumia madawa kidogo kwa hivyo spray program ni advice ya kwamba mtu afanye scouting akiona kuna shida sasa hiyo ndio anaweka da we will take a short break now keep it KTN Farmers TV for more Thank <laughs> you.